hello everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about how i study anatomy anatomy is one of my favorite things to study and revise because it makes the most sense to me and i find it easiest to learn i will say that my way may not be the quickest but it's very thorough and the notes you're going to be making are going to be spectacular the flashcards are going to be divine and it's just a process that I hope that you find very enjoyable, I know I do, and I hope it helps you um, get a better grounding of how to go about studying and ask me. So I don't need to say much more, but you know what needs to be boiled, and let's get into it. So in this video I will be focusing on the anatomy of the airways, it's something that we were set at the end of second year but it was during the time of exams and I just didn't have time to do it properly so I thought what better way than to show you guys how I would have done it. So what I do first is I load up the learning objectives for that week of anatomy, your uni may call it learning outcomes or something similar but basically it's just a list of all the things that they want for you to learn from the anatomy of that week and I just copy and paste that into a word document and then arrange it in a way that each learning objective becomes its own header. So what I do next is I copy and paste that all into another word document and instead of just calling it anatomy of the airways or whatever you're studying I just add images at the end and why I do this um, you'll find out very soon and then I also load up any relevant pages from Teach Me Anatomy. Teach Me Anatomy is honestly such a lifesaver. It's just got everything that you need to know and it's so concise and it has all the relevant information. I also make sure that I download any PowerPoint slides that the anatomy team provide to us that week. This week there were two and the last thing that I load up is the Grey's Anatomy online textbook just because a lot of the time I use the images from there so having it loaded up is so useful and I also use information from the book in my notes and my flashcards too. So the reason why I make a separate document titled The Anatomy of the Airways Images is because before I start any of my notes I just briefly skim read through all my resources and that just gives me a better grounding on what I'm about to learn instead of everything being completely brand new when I first start typing out and also when I make my flashcards and my notes it's just such an easy way to have all the images that I would need all in one place instead of having to go back and forth between resources it's just so much easier to have it all in one document. So next what I do is I start typing up my notes and what I try and do is I try to read through the resources and just pull it into my own words just to help me understand it a bit better and it just helps with the overall learning process. Some bits are harder to put into your own words than others because it's just there's no way around it but you should try and make sure you do that as much as you can and you may be thinking why don't you just copy and paste the information over but I really wouldn't recommend this because you just end up not even reading it and you're just transferring the information over to another document and by typing it out like I said putting it into your own words it really helps with the learning process and it just helps solidify the information So as you can see I just make my way down the learning objectives and I do it in a way that I make all my notes first and then I come back at the end and make all my flashcards but alternatively you could do it in a way where you do one objective at a time so you would make notes for one learning objective and then the flashcards and then you'll move on to the next objective but you should just experiment both ways and see what works best for you and also anything that you see me highlight in yellow is just something that reminds me that I need to make it into a flashcard later on and as you can see when I go along I like to think of flashcards that fits under that learning objective that I can make later. When it comes to anatomy I do quite a lot of reading and I look at quite a few resources because I've said it before but when I study if I don't understand something I do not write it down because there's just no point personally and I know I won't remember it so I don't mind doing that extra bit of reading and research if it means that I'm going to fully understand what I'm learning and it's something that's going to vary from person to person so if you understand concepts and learn new information quite easy then you may not need to do as much extra research but if you're like me where it takes a bit longer for you to understand things then you may find that you need to look at additional resources
So as I make my notes, you may realise that I'm missing out a few things, such as the innovation and the vascular supply of certain structures. And the reason for this is because it's not a learning objective, so I don't really spend time learning things that we're not specifically told that we need to know and the main reason for this is that our medical school teaches things in a spiral curriculum which means that each year you build upon your previous knowledge and you learn new things instead of learning everything in one year So when I finish making my notes, I load up Anki to start making my flashcards and I'll just show you the settings I have. Um, I watched a video in first year that showed me the optimum settings and that's what's worked for me. I haven't really changed it since then, so I definitely recommend using these settings or something similar. And what I do first, I just make a new deck titled The Anatomy of Whatever I'm Learning That Week and that's how I begin. So I just start by making my way down each header and learning objective and it's why it's good to try and think of flashcards as you go along and highlight it because it just saves you so much time and instead of having to think of flashcards you've got them all ready to make and also what you'll see is how handy the image um, document comes because when you're making flashcards all your images are in one place and I do a lot of graphic designing um, as you can see so it really makes it so much easier when I know I'm just literally copy and pasting images into paint um, I use paint 3d but you could use any editing software and I try to include a lot of examples of um, how I make my flashcards and how I convert into a form where it is easy to learn and also anything highlighted in green just means that it's been made into a flashcard format One of the best things that I found from Anki is the type in feature. I literally use it for everything and I don't know how I would have made it without it. It's literally such a lifesaver and it really helps you figure out what you do and don't know. Because when you use the basic feature, I feel like you tell yourself that you know it when you don't. But with this, you've got instant clarification whether you have the information correct or not. In this part, I realised I made mistakes in my previous cards, so instead of ethmoidal, I had written ethmoid, so I just went back over those cards and corrected them. So here I've made it to the last kind of section that I need to turn into flashcards, and this week was such a hard week of anatomy. It did take me a long time. I would say overall, it took me just over six hours to do everything, including the review at the end. The time it takes for anatomy varies each week, depending on how hard the content is and if you've ever covered it before. This was the first week that we had covered the anatomy of the airways in so much detail. A lot of the time I didn't know what was going on, I can't lie, which is why I was doing so much research. So it's something where you just need to be so patient at the start, um, it's gonna be quite hard. I remember I was doing the most, but I would say just try and make as least amount of flashcards as you can. It is easier said than done. And also when you're making these flashcards, try and think of the answer before you look up and see what's written. Um, it just helps with the learning and helps test yourself even further. So we have finally made it to the end and I just finished by going through all those flashcards just to help consolidate my learning and I can also check through all the cards to make sure that they're looking professional and just perfect. <laughs> I hope this video has helped and you take away some key learning points and incorporate how I learn in your learning. If you need any more um, assistant advice then please just message me or leave a comment but thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed please make sure that you like and subscribe and I will see you all very soon.